that is a big booty. Look at that. Oh my god. and today I forgot my SD card for my camera so I'm gonna record as much as I can with the iPhone um, if the video quality is not great I am sorry all right let me hold that a little bit but today I'm going to be putting um, more fiber on the back of the bumper to help support the bumper in the back because it's very very thin the reflex didn't do a very good job um, as I can say based off of this bumper may have been one of the end of the batches that they made but yeah that's what i'm gonna do so you guys are not gonna get to see me doing it because i don't have anywhere to put my phone so i'm gonna go ahead i'll show you guys what i'm mixing up and then i'm gonna lay it on there and then i'll show you guys after i lay it on there all right all right i'll bring you guys in a bit so this is the gooey stuff we're gonna be using some dyna hair Chop fiberglass to help support the back of the bumper, the inner part of the bumper, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead, put some on there on here, put some hardener on it, mix it up. And I'll be dropping it in the bumper right there in the middle. And then I'll show you guys after it's done. All right, guys, here it is. So I laid it on there to reinforce the back. And now we're just gonna wait for it to dry. Because it's still pretty wet. Alright. I'll be back when it's dry. Alright guys, so we found some good bondo. Some ProFlex. That's the good bondo you want to use for this type of stuff. And I went over and tried to fill in uh, here again to get that nice straight line. I'll probably have to redo some spaces or add more bondo to it. Another coat. But um, I tried to fill in the holes, the little tiny holes that were here, so we can get a nice, flat, smooth surface with no holes in it. So I'm going to be sending that down soon. Um, yeah, it's pretty much dry. Uh, some spot, the new coat that I just applied is still a little bit sticky around here because I missed this area. But um, I'm going to go ahead and smoothen this out once it's all dry and nice. And yeah, I'll bring you guys back once I'm done sending this. All right guys, so it is the next day. I'm back at the garage. And you didn't get to see it through my iPhone. And the sun's a little bit too much on it. But I sanded it, I laid some Bondo. I reinforced the sides right here. Some more Bondo, sanded it again. And right now, we're about to go try it on the car. So you guys will see how it sits on the car. I'm not gonna push the sides of it in just yet because um we still got to do some stuff with that to actually stay on the brackets and yeah let me go show you guys how it fits on the car i'm gonna go install this puppy and hey we'll get it rolling again all right let's take it to the car guys so there you go that's how the bumper sits 
Now you guys know what it looks like on the car. Except without the bundle stuff. So you guys can see, that's a big booty. That is a big booty, look at that. Oh my God. Step a little further away. Man. Whew. Now I just gotta get a diffuser made. Well, we're actually gonna make one ourselves. So you guys will be able to see that DIY too. But yeah. All right. Now, as you guys can see, this is what I was talking about right here. So this would actually go way underneath the tail light. But now, it's a lot better. We just have to fill in this gap right here. Right here. And make sure it sits flush. It will be good to go. And then fix a couple cracks, like right here, it's cracking. And then we have to figure out how we're gonna do the bracket right here for it to sit in there nice and snug so it doesn't break off this side we don't have a crack but it's all good we just gotta again work with this to make sure it sits on the bracket right all right so let's get the bumper back inside and let's work on it all right guys now i'm gonna go and apply some more bondo and um get this middle part Nice and flat and smooth uh, throughout. Fill in the gaps, all right? Let me get you mixing, and then you guys will see me applying it. Alright guys, we're back. So it's already the next day. As you can see the change of hoodie again. And while we wait on Andrew to get here, he's gonna be about two hours from now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and send his wing down. If you guys wanna see this one of one custom wing, make sure you go check out his channel. But that's what I'm gonna do meanwhile. And then when he gets back, we're gonna go put the bumper back on the car and figure out how we're gonna mold it to stay in there. Alright, with some quick release. So that'll be the end of this video when we finish off figuring out how the bumper is going to stay on the car. And then I'll see you guys in whatever next episode I'm going to bring out. Who knows? But for now, let's get some work done. Then we get here. When he gets here, we're going to do some more work. And that's going to be that, all right? All right, guys. So who we are. I smoothed it out as much as I could um, for him. I'm not gonna go all the way because I don't wanna mess up. This is his wing. As you can see, there's a little tiny hole here in perfection. Yeah, so that's the wing he's working on. Alrighty, now we just wait for him to get here. And we can go work on these brackets. Get them attached to the side right here. And then get them put on the car and see how we can make it stay there and not come out. All right, see you guys in a bit as soon as he's here. All right guys, so we're back home. Um, I didn't get to show you guys just putting it on the car because it got too late and it got too dark. Um, Andrew came home a little bit later than what we were expecting. So I don't get to show the end of the video in this video but stay tuned because next video i drop you guys will see us working on the um sides of the bumper to get you fitted in that bracket and figure out how we're going to do the quick release for it because the way that bumper was made uh it just it will break off even if it sits on the bracket so we're going to have to use two quick releases on each side so that means four and um that's the route i'm going to take unfortunately uh but i plan on uh, painting the buttons of the quick release the same color as the car so the way it's not as noticeable to everybody when you're driving or something like that it's something I'm gonna have to live with because I chose to go with this bumper 
anyway thank you guys for watching thank you guys for being here thank you guys for subscribing i hope you're enjoying the content i'm gonna try and bring out more content when i can again i'm doing what i can every day to bring you guys content and um it, it, it's just how the thing is you know the car game is patience 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 you know you got to go one step at a time you can't rush it because then it won't be done right all right but with that being said thank you so much for watching thank you guys for subscribing thank you guys for liking thank you guys for commenting please comment more guys let me know if i'm doing everything right let me know what you guys want to see let me know uh, what i'm doing wrong and what i can do better and just let me know what you guys are into you know what would you like to see me do to the sign on tc meanwhile as you guys know we are going turbo so i'm saving up for those parts you guys probably will see it coming in um next month uh probably after the car show or maybe i'll get some parts before the car show and i'll do some open boxes for you guys to see all the parts that i'm getting so if you plan on turbo in your car if it's an automatic tc as well then you guys can see what parts i'm getting and you can get them yourself as well all right with that being said thank you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video Peace.